me fumble and una kushe hi guys welcome back to my channel and today i am going to show you how i made this yummy lovely colorful delicious red palm eye bowl soup this is my grandma's recipe this was her go-to her favorite thing to cook um she's guinean and um, in guinea they call this yetinse and yeah if you want to know how i made this lovely lovely soup that you can have with rice stay tuned thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video like i said earlier i am going to be making red pomine boil soup I am just briefly going to talk through my ingredients with you guys. Um, today I chose to use um, fish, so that's smoked fish. I've gone ahead and soaked that into hot water, two pints of hot water, and I'm going to leave that to soak because that's going to be my base. That's going to be the water that I'll, I'll be using for my soup when it's time. I will show you guys. So I measured it using my measuring cup, so two pints of hot water into a bowl. I've got some fried fish here i've gone ahead and fried it nice and crispy how i like it so it's up to you it's optional how you want if you want to grill it you can grill it if you want to deep fry it you can deep fry it i um air fried mine um i've got a bunch of um green um onions spring onions here chopped and ready to go into my mortar and pesto my mataldo and pencil um, I get for bits and fine wine, and um, I've got a whole bob of garlic here, peeled and washed, again ready to go into my mortar and pestle, and some ginger. This is optional; you don't have to. But I love using fresh ingredients into my cook, uh, into my cooking, especially when I'm cooking like stew and soups and things like that. I cannot stress enough how much better it tastes when you use fresh ingredients so i've got some bay leaf and i've got some thyme i will list exactly the amount of stuff that i use on on the on the comments on the description um box so not to worry but yeah again if you can please please incorporate using fresh ingredients like fresh garlic your ginger your spring onion your fresh thyme bay leaf you know basil which i don't have and i, I didn't want to go out just for that so i'm trying to use what i have in my house you know with everything that's going on at the moment we have to keep safe so don't go out there looking for like you know garlic and ginger because i said so no use what you have in your house but when everything is back to normal please 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 try and use fresh ingredients it makes the food taste so much better anyways so yeah here i have a plum tomato one tin of plum tomato and half a tube of tomato puree so i've gone ahead and mixed that together i added a teaspoon of paprika for the redness and the smoky taste that it would eventually give my soup and i've got three chopped onions here small um small to medium sized onions because you don't really need a lot of onions because this is not stew it's boiled soup i've got two scotch bonnet pepper and again you can add more or less it depends on your taste if you want it spicy add more if you don't then just stick to um this guidelines remember you can just switch it up this is just uh, an example i'm just like giving you a guideline to follow you know you can go ahead and make it make it personal to what you would like and my favorite part i love me some garden eggs and some eggplant love it love it love it love it so um jacato and kobo kobo honestly what is boiled soup without jacato and kobo kobo like seriously so yes and you can pick if you, if you don't if you can't get hold of um garden eggs um which is um this is the jacato right yes um that's absolutely fine but when it comes to aubergine honestly you can get it in all the supermarket easy peasy so i've just gone ahead and just um chopped that into like um, this size if you can see i'm going to like fry this later um i'll show you guys and yeah i think i've gone through everything that um i'm going to use oh my palm oil so i'm using palm oil today you can go ahead and use oil if you want but i'm using palm oil and it's half a pint of red palm oil um yes so yeah this is all the ingredients guys 
so um while i bleach my palm oil let me just briefly um tell you guys what i do so obviously we all know that when you are using palm oil to cook when it gets hot it's very smoky and you start to cough and it's a bit uncomfortable you know um what i do i tend to cover it i slightly cover it and i keep it on a low heat i keep it on a low heat so you can just slowly low to medium heat because obviously you still want it um um hot like you want your your pot to get hot and bleach the palm oil which bleaching the palm oil is basically making it um brown um light dark brown instead of red um i'll show you when it's ready the difference so i'm going to let that um bleach uh whilst that is there i will go ahead and beat my garlic and ginger and i'm also going to add my um spring onions inside me and my taldo and pencil so my mortar and pencil this is my favorite favorite utensil in the kitchen because it's just so much easier and it makes the food taste so much better if you have a food chopper you can use that you know you know or garlic crusher you can use that and remember the ginger is um optional i just like to use fresh ingredients in my food so yeah but it's totally optional you don't have to use ginger but definitely you need garlic and you definitely need spring onions so yeah i'm going to go ahead and give that a good beat so as you can see um i'm happy with this um color and um yeah I am going to drop a piece of onions inside just to check if it's hot enough. As you can see, that looks fine. That is hot enough. So next up, I am going to add my aubergine, eggplant, cobble um, cobble. Yeah, this is cobble cobble, <laughs> not jack at all, um, to fry. Be careful when you're putting this in there, guys. So on a burn yourself or anything like that so I'm going to let this fry for about five minutes five minutes total because I will be adding it later on and it will get um, the chance to cook through properly I am now going to add my garden eggs me jacato so me um, kobo don't fry i don't pull them you know so that's my aubergines they're ready took it out so i am now going to i mean if your pot is big enough you can add both the garden eggs and the um, eggplant together to fry but this pot is a bit tight so that's why i've done it the way i've done it so here we go i'm just gonna let that fry for about five minutes and then i'll take it out so this is what it looks like the garden egg and the um aubergine when it's fried um yeah so that's ready i am now going to add my onions into the pot okay careful when you're doing this the carbo is really hot so be very careful okay um, i'll give it a little mix make sure the heat is on a medium to low heat okay that's how you want it medium to low because you just want this to saute and just cook slowly before you add anything else so i will be going ahead and covering my pot so the steam can cook it so while some your onions is cooking, do go in um, with a spoon and give it a mix every couple of minutes because you don't want it to stick onto the pot. Um, yeah, so I would say leave it to cook for about 10 minutes in total. That's um, the onions. So it can be nice and soft before you add the next ingredients, which I will be showing you. So I'm going to cover the pot again so the steam can cook it. And while that's happening... I'm going to show you my, so this is my green onions and my scotch bonnet after beating it. And this is my garlic and ginger. So these two will be going in next. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I'm happy with, um, it's been, the onions has been cooking for about 10 minutes. And I'm happy with the texture and how far it's cooked and what it looks like. Um, so I'm now going to add my spring onions and scotch bonnet 
into the pot. I'm also adding my garlic. And I am also going to add my bay leaf and thyme. Do you see the colours in the pot and how beautiful it looks? So what I am going to do now is just increase the um, temperature on my cooker to um, medium to high. So all this can cook nicely together and just you know get to know each other in the pot and all the flavors to come together and yeah i'm going to let that cook for about 10 minutes but obviously i will be going every couple of minutes to have a look and give it a mix so it doesn't stick onto the pot so yeah so yes that's been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes as you can see this is the consistency there it is so all the onions the spring onions garlic ginger scotch vinegar is nicely cooked to what i want it to be so um i let it cook for about um 10 to 15 minutes i am now going to add my tomato mixture so remember this is a um, plum tomato tomato puree and um teaspoon of paprika i'm going to add that So I will now give it a mix and then I'm going to let it cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. But remember, I'm going to cover the pot because the steam is what would cook it. But every couple of minutes, I will come in and give it a mix to make sure that it's not burning and it doesn't stick onto the pot. So, yeah. So this is cooking nicely. I'm happy with how it's looking. I'm just going to reduce the heat a little bit. So remember medium to high, but keep an eye, you constantly have to keep an eye and you constantly have to go in and give it a good mix. So all my ingredients have combined, they've all got to know each other, it's marinating, it's like a, you know, it's like a love story in the pot. Yes, like I'm very passionate about food, sorry guys. Um, I hadn't had, um, um, added any seasoning whatsoever apart from my fresh seasoning because to me your garlic, your ginger, your thyme, your bay leaf is seasoning. So I am now giving it a good mix, make sure that it's not stuck onto the pot, nothing like that. Um, yeah, I lo I'm loving how that's cooking. It's been there for about 10 minutes and it's looking really good. So I'm just going to add my salt and then my no um mag maggie cube and my all focus seasoning okay and i'm going to give that a good mix and let it cook for about a further five to ten minutes it all depends I'll, I'll keep checking it and see how it's looking and how you know if i'm happy with what it looks like so yeah i'm gonna give it a little cover and let it cook for another five to ten minutes um but check it throughout um the process just to make sure it's not sticking and it's cooking nicely okay so um yes that is looking really good so i'm happy with this um in regards to how much it is cooked and the consistency the texture how it's looking remember i've added my um, seasoning so taste it if you're happy with the taste then leave it alone if you feel like you need more um, salt more seasoning go ahead and add some you guys remember so yes you guys remember um the fish that i had soaked in the water i am now going to add that into my pot remember this is boiled soup it's not stew but you do need to get a base and your base is similar to um, stew or fry soup if you like um if what well, depends what you call it but it's not stew or fry soup it's boiled soup so you are going to add water but before you do add the water do the process that i've done um before that because that's what gives it the flavor and the taste it needs to be cooked that way before you go ahead and add the water so i'm adding my fish and um just making sure i get all the bit out remember i am going to use this water later so yeah i am going to give it a good stir oh my goodness look at that look at that look at that 
Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God, I can't wait. Oh, I'm fasting, by the way. Yes, I am. But yeah, I can tell that it just looks and it will taste amazing because it's Mons Kitchen, obviously. <laughs> no, but yeah, I'm giving that a good mix. So I'm making sure everything combined together because it's just, like the ingredients have to have a relationship that's in sync. Like everything have to just flow together. So yeah, I don't want the fish to scatter too much. So I'm going to just let it cook. I'm going to cover it again for about five to 10 minutes. And then obviously I will be checking it throughout that um, 10 minutes making sure that I'm giving it a mix and making sure that nothing is sticking at the bottom of the pot. And yeah, give it a cover. So yeah, I'm happy with how this is looking. This is my base. I'm ready to add my um, water because that will be the next stage. Oh, but can you see the bay leaf, the thyme? Can you see all like the onions and the... Um, peppers and stuff so yeah um speaking about peppers i'm going to add some more scotch bonnet at this point because um i like spicy food my daughter not so much so i always tend to add some wall pepper you know how it goes for my civilians you know so i can um dish it out when it's time for me to eat with my rice but yeah you guys remember the water i am going to now add that onto the pot this is where it becomes well soup not stew okay wow 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 that's looking beautiful and i'm going to give it a mix and i am going to cover the pot again and let it cook for another 10 to 15 minutes while giving it a mix and stirring it and tasting it to see if i can enhance the flavor and go ahead and and taste it if you feel like you need more water then add more water you know if not just leave it like how it is and just let it boil and uh, so everything can just get together and yeah let's leave this to boil and we'll come back and have a look in about 15 minutes oh my god look at that that is looking really really delicious and just perfect so yeah this has been cooking for about 15 minutes um after adding the water i'm happy with the consistency i'm happy with the texture i don't need to add more water or salt or seasoning or anything like that but do go ahead and taste yours if you need to add if you feel like you need more water go ahead boil some water and add some to taste it all depends on your preference remember it's broth soup so it needs to be a bit watery not too watery but like it needs to be a, a consistency of like granite soup you know um i'm going to add my fish now onto this because it's almost ready really so remember i had fried my fish before so i'm just gonna go in and add that to the pot okay and i am going to also add my jakatsu and kobo kobo so my aubergine and my eggplant no 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 <laughs> uh, my eggplant and my garden eggs yes that's it that's it so i'm going to add that also and more or less i'm ready to um yeah this is more or less ready so i'm going to let it cook for another five to ten minutes the most and yeah it will be ready to dish out you can have it with your rice or whatever you choose to have it with look at that remember you um fried um your garden eggs and your aubergine before so it doesn't really need um that much time to cook so i would say this part of it just let the fish and the garden eggs and the aubergine get to know it, it, each other in the pot for about five minutes and i think your soup will be ready but um yeah let's leave it for about five minutes and check it to see how it's looking and if we're happy with what it looks like then we can go ahead and dish our food um yeah so yeah it's all done i'm really really happy with the outcome this is why you put the fish last so it doesn't scatter so yeah i got my fish i've got my 
um, garden eggs and I've got my aubergines and yeah me ball pepper all things just look right it just looks yes so I am now going to cook my rice um, and yeah and just dish it up but yeah this is what it should look like this is ready you can go ahead and switch off your cooker and just put it to the side until your rice is cooked but do you see this is boiled soup red carmine boiled soup this is what it's supposed to look like and yeah i literally cannot wait to dig in so yes this is the end product guys look at that look at that you can see the fish you can see the garden eggs you can see the aubergine you do look say you cobble cobble you can see the scotch bonnet pepper the pamino sidon all in there intact Ay, <laughs> mm, 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 mm. yes so yeah i'm going to now go on and um switch off my cooker because that's all done and ready um to be served with whatever you prefer so i'm going to have mine with some rice you can have it with couscous um brown basmati rice jasmine rice um bulgur wheat whatever you want to have it with really so yeah this is how you make um red palm oil well soup and um some people will call it um in guinea they call it yet in say um word to my grandma <laughs> um yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video and